All right. Well, let's start fresh then. Yes. Top no. Snap Podcast. Hi. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Happy Thanksgiving 2016. Oh, my God. It's almost like so fake. Guys. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. I hate that shit. Well, people. I can't stand myself right now. I'm pissed off. I'm as, punch me in the face right now, like virtually. Just sock <laughs> me in the fucking nose. What? So last night, speaking of fighting, we were at the Irvine. We went down to go see Joey Diaz uh, perform at the improv. Ir- Irvine Improv, which the Irvine... Uh, you know what it was? It used to be the Laugh Factory down there, didn't it? I have no idea. I thought it was always the improv. Whatever. We were the- tripping out because we swear it was located in a different area than we... Re- we ha- both haven't been there in years and years. That's pumpkin pie. And... I'm take a big bite of it. <laughs> it was a huge bite. He almost ate the whole piece of pie. No, I didn't. All right, so keep on with the story. We okay. we ran into Kevin Gastelum last night. Yeah, well, we got shut out of Joey Diaz. It was, it was sold out. And so we got lost in that place. We were walking around in circles. Tri- it was... Pretty crazy. It's called what? It's called <laughs> Irvine. Like Irvine Spectrum. Irvine Spectrum. Stop. Sorry. Yeah. Too much pot. Um, been there, <laughs> I've been there. I've been there a million times. Young, you know, when I was younger. Not so much when I'm this age. The only time I'd ever go is to go to the Improv. I thought it was always the Irvine Improv. I thought it was the Laugh Factory there for a it while. It might have been the Laugh Factory, but it was in. A, it, we both. It was in a. I don't know. We both it's now it the Maui restaurant. Sorry about that. Different location. It's, it's now the Maui. Re- I hope this, the fucking levels on this are chill. So since we got shut out, we decided we wanted to go find some place okay. to eat. Mm-hmm. And so we walked around in circles mm-hmm. to find a place. Oh, and <laughs> Jay suggested we go to Cold Stone before we eat dinner dessert first so we stopped at, sugar a, monster. at a nice plate of sugar ice cold sugar and sugar that monster. was the first time and right when we sat down to eat um you saw him walk by you saw kevin walk by right yeah, yeah we were that sitting was the there first time and you said i think that's kevin no because this is how, this is how it was so I'm, she's sitting on like the planter and I'm holding this fucking behemoth of sugar and ice cream. <laughs> it was a brownie sundae. Fudge. The guy's going on. Like in the picture, it's like drizzle on there. This guy's going. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's li- with the whipped cream. He finished the whole bag. He, like, he's, you know, when you're out of toothpaste and you're trying to get every last bit because you need to go brush your teeth and you're out of toothpaste. Which is fuck. kind of weird when you're seeing somebody do that to your sundae, right? Yeah, like- but he's doing this with this huge whipped cream bag. It's like about a foot and a half, like 18 inch long. Mm. And he's squeezing all this white jizz all over our <laughs> all over our Sunday, and then he put some black jizz on it, like bleh, and like, dude, he just was it was mobbed with. It was delicious. <laughs> was, oh, she liked that delicious. It was delicious. It was amazing. We sat there, and like it was a mound of sugar, and people are walking by, and we're sitting there pigging out, just the only people doing this kind of shit <laughs> in any kind of hundreds of people. And we didn't give two fucks. So I'm sitting in there and we're sharing this. And this guy with cauliflower ear and Kevin Gastelum, a different guy, dark haired guy. If you don't know who he is, he's a UFC fighter. And he was supposed to fight in the last UFC in New York. And some shit went down. Just kind of things of the fight game. It's hard. Listen, I try to cut weight to do a jiu-jitsu tournament and to make weight. Man, it was tough. And I did it gradually over a couple months. And if you're not dedicated to it and you lose yourself... It's hard. Like right now, I've been trying to lose weight for the last, what, three months? And I've barely lost a couple pounds. Now, I'm not training like I was or I'm barely working out. So, this guy didn't make weight and didn't make the fight with Cowboy Donald Cerrone. At Madison Square Garden. Madison Square Garden, man. And they just lost out a whole bunch of money to make. And and I know he probably feels like shit. He got a six-month suspension. Yeah, we looked it up. Yeah, six-month suspension. So... You had to speak into the mic if you're okay. Gonna, yeah, so like. Okay. By the way, these aren't working, and this is the only one that works. It's That's a good mic. Work. These two work, and that mic was like almost two hundred bucks right there. It's I know. I'm just saying why Sennheiser. it might look a little funny that I'm having to hold a mic when there's mics right here. I'm on a holding stand. a giant Zoom dick in my hand. <laughs> Zoom H5. This is this so. um. This is, this is good stuff. So promo to any kind of in, like see that's see how it is left and then right. Oh yeah, wow. It's really um. So that's sensitive. what happens. So, yeah, it's a sensitive. I just got into the, that's how we started the the one that's unedited. This this recording, we started just with the camera mic and kind of screaming at the camera, and so. <laughs> 
you know, I, this thing was resetting, trying to go to stereo mode. Oh my God, it was a clusterfuck. So anyways. Okay, back to... Yes, that's another <laughs> rabbit hole we were getting down. Sorry. We were talking about ADD this morning too. <laughs> <laughs> and I call it attention distraction disorder. <laughs> oh my God, I do. That's a better, a better attention term. Attention distraction or disorder. Okay. <laughs> I do have ADA. Is it, wait, attention distraction <laughs> disorder. ADD. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> okay back to back to getting shut out of joey smoke diaz another pole just to be silly enough to fucking get <laughs> out of this we get shut out of joey diaz we get we're walking around in circles at the spectrum we get cold stone no hold on hold on we were fucking like vultures swooping around <laughs> <laughs> the bray improv looking for tickets like it was crazy. So we wanted to walk around with our fingers up like you do at a dead show. <laughs> Need a I, ticket. Get, I'm all, I asked the guy at the window, I'm all, you guys sold out? He's like, yeah, we're all sold out. I'm all, really everything is, yeah. I said, no last minutes or anything? He's on no. And then later on when we were eating at CPK. Which is where we ended up, of all places of all to places. eat there. So I already saw Kevin Gastelum once when we were eating ice cream. So now we're sitting down at the at the, at the the CPK. Out of out of all the restaurants and we decided to sit on the patio and we were the only there was one other couple sitting on the patio yeah. everybody else was inside the restaurant yeah everybody and the service sucked because we were yeah, the only ones outside really bad and, like, and we said we were from alaska <laughs> yeah, we're from alaska. the waitress oh, she's the waitress, like welcome <laughs> the waitress forgot about us but the bartender kicked ass and he made up for the experience yeah he, he comped but the drink and then what else happened made up for the experiences as well because we're sitting there and the food was kind of shit in a way i mean it could have it, it was probably just the flatbread day pizza and time. And yeah it was just i don't know it i think they made it, those off off yeah, days yeah but come on if you're gonna make some food i okay i should you're regressing though we're i know but I, I got the pizza i got the fucking jamaican jerk off pizza <laughs> and the guy didn't even give me my extra jerk off sauce well, because <clears throat> I wanted some more jerk chicken sauce for the pizza. And I said, yeah, <laughs> I just said, yeah, just give me more sauce. Oh, you want some more jerk sauce? I'm like, oh, fuck. Here we go. So, yeah, I got the jerk. I got the jerk pizza. Okay. She got the 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 uh, the salad and it, there's, we're out in the back and it's like the food's eh, she didn't even eat all the salad. So it's cool. We're having a good time. The food's great. Okay, the no, hold on. But just saying the where the experience kind of turned better is I see Kevin Gaslam walking from my right to my left. And you and called out, you're all... I stand up like a like, fucking Kevin. fanboy, and I go, Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> and he looks, and his... He looks, and, I'm like, and, and he gives and me like, what up? And I'm like, what up? And then he, and then, and then Jay was super bummed. He was like, oh, I should have taken a picture with them. You know, I wish I would have... And I said, yeah, I should have been, it would have been better to get a picture with them because yeah. that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to document yeah. the things that I follow. Kevin Gaslam a major part of history right now because whether or not he look at whether or not he fought, he's still a huge part of history of part 205 because that was a major fight that fell apart. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, and, you know, Cowboy, and I like Cowboy Soroni. I think that guy's an awesome, mm -hmm. awesome individual, and I'd love to meet him. And he was, he, he, he was interviewed, and he said he was bummed. He was bummed that Kevin didn't call him to just yeah. say, hey, look at dude, I'm not going to make fucking weight. Why don't you try to, we'll try to meet in the middle and get a catch weight because, excuse me, New York, um, New York State Athletic Commission's policy is seven pounds worth of difference if it's at a catch weight. Otherwise, there's a limit. Their limit, like 145, would be at 146. 155 would be at 156. And then the one that they would fight, Kevin Gastelum and, <clears throat> excuse me, um, Donald Cowboy Cerrone, would be at 171, would be the max that mm -hmm. you could weigh. So, um, yeah. So Isn't it funny that they can weigh in without their stuff, I guess, right? They, have to weigh in, they can weigh in naked, and that's... That's or if they're got three pounds worth of clothing and they can weigh in like that, too. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if they have their. Yeah. So what if they I take off all that shit? I don't know. Anyways, that's the weight classes. And that's what happened is he didn't make his weight class. Kevin Gastelum didn't make his weight. He was too much bit way too much bigger for for Cowboy because of the seven pound weight difference. So Cowboy lost out on like fucking he got paid his show money. But they, the purse money would have been like over 100 K, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't know if Cowboy or anybody gets like any kind of pay-per-view money, but K 
Cowboy makes a lot of money with fucking Budweiser, and that would have been a, you know, like come on, give me a. And fucking they break. did give him a <clears throat> shout out during the. Yeah, but he didn't fight. Yeah, and he didn't fight Kevin that. Gastelum. Yeah, and <clears throat> Kevin Gastelum, you know, look at I don't know the guy. I I see what I see from MMA news, and then that's about it. I don't train with them or nothing, so there's no disrespect. And and whatever he went through to to not make weight, maybe he was just embarrassed. Like fuck, I don't know. Maybe maybe he couldn't. Maybe he couldn't get to himself. Like maybe he thought he could make it, and then time just fucking ran out, and he was like, "Fuck!" Mm-hmm. It's too late to call and say Donald fucking gained five, eight pounds, yeah. or whatever. I don't know, yeah. but he coulda. Maybe you know he could have reached out. I, again, I don't know his position on it. Um, he seemed like a real nice fucking guy. He was yeah, humble he enough seemed, to come back. Yeah. Take so a picture. he walked. So Jay was bummed out, and the, and he ended up walking by a third time, and this time. Jay. And and I'd already gone to go get the fucking guy because yeah. we were sitting there like crickets going on like dude there's yeah. ten Castellamore went by went it's been like 10 15 minutes I went over to the fucking bartender. The bartender well he was sitting at the front the bartender was at the host oh he was at the host podium gotcha. like doing something I said hey uh, where's your manager oh no some lady was when I walked up some lady was screaming at him oh yeah she was screaming at him and uh, like saying bah, 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 bah. um. And then the guy was like, oh, let's go. And then I was like, oh, shit. Here, I'm going to hit him with a bomb. I'm like, hey, and I'm all, uh-huh. I'm all, she pissed? He's all, yeah, both of them are pissed. I'm all, can, he's all, can, how can I help you? I said, I need to speak to your manager. He's all, oh, and I'm like, yeah, it's it's all good. Just, yeah, if you can get a hold of him. I wasn't trying to put the guy in. He seemed like a really nice guy. And that's why I think he went out of his way to kind of give us service. And I was yeah. being nice to him, even though I was like. So right when Jay walked out with him. Yeah, I'm walking out. Him. And I see Kevin passed already our table. He, he's outside the wall. I go, Kevin, and over the, like the wall, like again, fanboy, he turned around and go, Hey, and I grabbed up my phone. I said, Hey, can I take a picture with you? And he's like, he, he's kind of stopped. And I think his friend like, eh, no, nah, like was going to say like, no, mm-hmm. like, oh, bro, let's just go. And then he's like, no. All right. Yeah. They came around, he came back around and we met in a shirt that said peace on it. Yeah. And, and we're American, um, not American. Yeah. It said peace. And we uh-huh. were, we went to the emergency, the emergency exit kind of where there's an open glass. Yeah. And it was a nice moment. Photos on Instagram. It's that username is J U S E R N A M E I S J A Y at Instagram. Yeah. Whatever. And um, thank you, Kevin, whatever you've gone through, you know, we all have to go through our own lessons, trials and tribulations in life. And you're a cool guy. Thanks for the picture with Jay. That was yeah, that was awesome, awesome man. That, that was really nice. That you really a, made our fan. night. To be honest with you, right? yeah, it was. It was funny because <laughs> wow. I do follow you. Like if he's listening, I do follow him. You know, and um, and for whatever, the, like I said, whatever the reason, I'm not taking sides. You know, like again, I would be pissed if I was Donald Cerrone because it's a lot of fucking money and fame and exposure and all that good shit that could have came along with it. Um, and then that gets onto a whole thing about if you follow MMA, it's kind of getting into. I'm not saying WWE or WWF or whatever the wrestling pro wrestling shit is. I'm not saying it's getting there, but there's a there's a certain reality of craziness with it comes to a persona, okay? And I think that's extrude. I think, you know, obviously with pro wrestling, it's it, it they they extract it to the point of theater, okay? I get it. But some of that shit's real. Like come on, some of that stuff. Come on, you just it's just not you can't fake to be angry and really be mean you can't fake that like that's real that comes out real an aggression mm. it's also sportsmanship though too i mean like yeah but you have a situation yeah but if like well, let's just say let's just say he was like oh fuck you da, 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 and like how would i react as a fan mm-hmm. you know first of all i'm not gonna pick five <laughs> like maybe he says fuck it i don't have anything to lose right now pissed sure. off and comes back and beats my ass you know mm-hmm. So I'm just saying, if, you know, <laughs> these things can happen. So, you know, to take, that's why I should respect all those guys, dude. They're fucking, they're, that guy's a killer. You right have there. to. I mean. He's a killer. Yeah. Killer. And he put in a lot of time to get where he is I'm so much in bigger life. than him, though. Holy I was fuck. shocked about that. He's got these little hands, too. And I was like, my hands, yeah. I have small fingers. I got a big palm, but these tiny little fingers, you know, not not a very good guitar player. And I shook his hand. I felt like it engulfed his hand. Hmm. Yeah, I felt like I had I strong hands. Dude, that's what I'm saying. I could fucking... I could... I could have been somebody. I could have been a contender. <laughs> but we like having dessert before we're yeah. So we did the Cold Stone. We, the we did the uh, CPK. Oh, man. We're it having was, pumpkin pie. I hope pie somebody's before. actually listening okay, to us. Okay, back, 
back to it being Thanksgiving and the pumpkin pie. Yeah. Oh, the pumpkin three lines. Are we talking about the three lines? Well, we, Marie, we, Marie calendars. Do we even talk about that on this no, version? No, not on the uncut version or on the cut version. It's uh, on the edited one. This one right now. Yeah. I had to fuck it. I'm just gonna let it run. So it, this is too fucking crazy. We're going to let it run. Okay. You want to tune in, you tune in, but if, I'll put the post of like this. And the, the pumpkin pie is delicious, by the way. It's, it's cool. a good yeah. one. You know, why is a pumpkin pie that's like not made from home? It's Okay, so uh, on I we're standing in pie. line and we're we're left to the pies. We're going back to the initial conversation. <laughs> oh, happy Thanksgiving happy with pie. Happy Thanksgiving with pie. Yeah, dude, if you went to Marie Calendars, be careful. There's three lines, right? And the, there's like the, I was like, oh, fuck. The huge line. It's going around like the building. And I'm like. Jay got in there. <laughs> I was like, hey. Uh, What's this one? And she's like, no, this is the walk-in line. I'm like, walk-in? It's okay, way well, too short. <laughs> yeah, it's way too short. This doesn't make sense. And it, when you walk in, there was nobody being served food, right? No, they weren't open yet. Yeah, the, the restaurant wasn't open. It was already past 10 o'clock. Like they open at 11. Oh. So the line's like maybe, maybe, what, five people in front mm-hmm. of us? Six mm-hmm. people at the most? And they didn't have all their pie selection available. They had like little ones, they had little white outs. Dude, they had like a couple dozen versions of pie. But they, they still had, had a lot. Yeah, we, we got German chocolate choose. fucking pie for crying out loud. Give me a break. And so we're in, we're in line that. and I said, what pie are you going to get? Because we had the coupon. From Judy Coupon. Clark, right? Mm-hmm. Thank you, Judy, for our free pie at Marie Calendars. Yes. Judy Clegg, I think it is. Clegg. Judy Clegg, yeah. Judy Clegg, she's Huntington a realtor Beach, at Huntington California. Beach or something. Thank you for the free pie. We like yeah. the pie. So I got a pie, and then, so this is how this whole thing was going to come on. This is the this is where we get into the fucking. <laughs> she root. got really Hold excited on. to have Fuck this conversation. I thought you were going to put Hold your on. hat backwards. <laughs> I'm going to be like Stallone right now. <laughs> We're getting down and dirty. You better cover for me. If I drop my mic, you better cover for me. <laughs> down and dirty. And this is the whole... Jay didn't want to get into this conversation. He wanted to save it for the podcast. So this is... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. The holiday up, fights. Real, this, this is the holiday fights right now. We're getting into some real, like, potential holiday, holiday drama fights. here. Is, <laughs> okay, so... And, so in line, I'm asking him, what are we going to get? And he... and. She, I didn't want him to bring get a pumpkin. So but you we, never really said anything in the line, did you? Yeah, I did. I did said, you? I said, um, my cousin's husband is making a, a pumpkin pie. A pumpkin pie. Pumpkin she said, pie. My husband's, my cousin's husband is making a pumpkin pie. Yeah. Okay. So and I said, he's okay. bringing it. Pumpkin. The pumpkin pie slot for Thanksgiving has already been filled. So is there such a thing? I'd say that's fucking bullshit. Because when I was young, there was like fucking doubles and triples of every, like seven different kind of pies. There was like 20 pies. And you know, hey, go home. Yeah, take a pie home. That's what it was all about. There's oh. so much pie. You never ate that much. And people who like pie, like me, I love pie. Granted, all kinds time, of pie. I thought we were only getting one pie. And so I was like, why duplicate the one pie when there's other choices to have? What's your favorite kind of pie? What flavor of your pie? (laughs) We love pie. So anyway. What? (laughs) We love pie. Come on. Oh my God. Who doesn't love pie? (laughs) Seriously. (laughs) All right. Right. Come on. Okay. So. I'm fighting with her now because this is bullshit and I want to bring fucking three pumpkin pies. And I said, oh, is this now a pumpkin pie? Well, he said he wanted it. I was like, well, then why? why, Hold on. Why bother? You're you're, you're crouching on tank. Why bother? You're leaning in on me. You got a whole screen. Look at my screen over there. It's like this. I thought I'm like talking into this. Yeah, I know. It sucks. It's, okay. It's, these aren't working. They're not working. So oh, we could do this. Oh, you just changed you just it. Go. You're fucking things up. What happened? I don't know. That went black, and then what went black? That one? No, no, that's fine. Okay. But you can still hear me, right? <laughs> yeah, but you started like Garden, I don't know. Bigly booze. Okay. Yeah. Well. Okay. So this is the fight, and the fight. Yeah, it's like bullshit. Now, oh, now the, I mean, the pumpkin pie slot is is filled, and now we're gonna have a competition. Well, I thought I'm gonna at bring the time a Marie we were Calendars only doing one pumpkin. His, I mean, one pie. Why would you look at? Let Why me ask duplicate you, when you have all these choices to choose from? Okay. That's me, being my point. Okay, now watch my point. <laughs> okay, yeah, and this will be in the next podcast of post Turkey Day because we're gonna throw one down, and that's watch tonight. 
how many slices of the pumpkin pie vanish versus this German chocolate bullshit that I got? Well, that's why you have a pumpkin pie at home waiting for you. Fuck that. We already dipped into two slices. That's like three quarters of it. No, no, a quarter of it, huh? Yeah. A quarter of it's gone. Well, why not just keep it at the house and then we'll go to my mom's bringing the... Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll take a tiny sliver already. And then I say, yeah, I couldn't wait. I, I eat dessert first and just ruin the party. <laughs> I can ruin the party. I want to ruin some. I want to fucking crash a Thanksgiving party. Just eat all the pie first. <laughs> That's how we roll. We eat dessert first. Yes. So, all right. Happy Thanksgiving, happy you guys. Thanksgiving. I don't know how we're going to conclude. I, I know there was probably another point that we wanted to make to this. Well, I don't happy, know. It was, point a, being... it was a Thanksgiving podcast we, wanted we just to wanted to check in have he, you know, I don't know. Always Tank's a great, here with us we wanted to see it's kind of a it's about family that's why i want to we interject. should be thankful and grateful every day and thanksgiving is just a huge reminder that you know we need to enjoy every day and make the most of it and love each other yeah. and, and peace on earth and you good know. will to men and all that stuff yeah. but in, internally within your family because this can project yeah, start outwards. with your family start with first. your family first you know like Hey, I got some close family. I'm going through some shit. They're going through some shit. And this is a remnant of two years ago. You know, rest in peace, Austin Miles Medina. Yeah. I love you guys. Mm. Bye bye. Love you. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye.